As most of you know, Amazon does two-day shipping to pretty much anywhere. So how could you make that time shorter? You could get more regional distribution centers. You could ship with drones. You could teleport the packages everywhere. But I'm thinking about a realistic solution. What if the semi-trucks were really, really fast? Practical solutions, like I said. So today, we're gonna be making a hyper semi, and it's totally gonna work, I, I swear. I'm also gonna put leaf springs on the back because I've learned my lesson, and <laughs> I have a feeling that this is the time when it's not leaf springs that are the answer, but you know what, we'll, we'll find out. So today, we're gonna be making the Dalarna Super Truck Delivery System, lovingly referred to as the STDs. Now, I'm probably not pronouncing that right. Not STDs. I'm pretty sure I'm pronouncing that right, but Dalarna. I don't know if it's Dalarna or Dalarna. I'm going to go with Dalarna because I think I, I looked it up and it sounded more like Dalarna, but I don't I don't know. If you're Swedish, tell me, please. But yeah, so <laughs> let's try and make this thing half decent, shall we? Got a nice chunky wheelbase there. This is going to be exciting. So as it is a super truck delivery system, let's go for some some sort of weight reduction thing. So we'll go with aluminum today. And I'm pretty sure we want a ladder chassis. I don't know. I mean, this is automation. It's not exactly meant for semis. But let's just go with ladder. And then corrosion resistant. And then corrosion resistant steel. Can we make this thing all-wheel drive? I want to make it all-wheel drive. Longitudinal. Okay, so let's do... A beautiful leaf in the front and rear. That's probably not the right move. <laughs> I could do a coil in front. That might be a little better. That's fine. So the question is, what do we want? And if it'll fit, which it most definitely will, we want a V16. Okay, that's really not going to fit all that well, it will seem. But we can do a bit of one. It's kind of sad that I'm calling this tiny, but yeah, a 17.7 liter V16. It's virtually a baby. This is this is a specialty truck, okay? This isn't, this isn't for your average delivery Joe All right we're gonna need some we're gonna need some serious rpm getters on this thing that's what I call these parts here the rpm getters okay uh oh we should turbo this for sure okay so no compression and that's fine VVT sure why not turbo ball bearing uh we'll change that later injection direct per cylinder race we won't be super over the top here we'll just go with super Gosh, that is not the engine you'd expect to see in a semi. <laughs> I should probably put a bit of a focus on torque. I feel like I'm going to regret not doing that. You know what? It'll, it'll happen. Okay, yeah, we got the torque. That's for sure. <laughs> Chunky exhaust. Let's go. Okay, let's get the fuel system moderately in place. Uh, I'm really not expecting it to be, you know, efficient. But this isn't about fuel efficiency. This is about getting to the destination as fast as possible so people don't have to wait for their stuff. If I ordered an Alexa, I want it here in five minutes. And this is going to make sure that happens. I'd say that's probably enough performance for a semi. I don't know. I could be wrong. <laughs> this is how Bolko beats Amazon. Overpowered semi-truck fleets. I mean, it, it's actually kind of fuel efficient. And it's getting better. All right, let's just get it to 2,000 horsepower because... I want 2,000 horsepower. Now, everything here is working. Oh my gosh, it's perfect. 2,000 horsepower. Oh my gosh, this is going to sound beefy. That is going to be a fast delivery time. Now, this Dalarna, if you didn't guess based on the fact that it's named after a Swedish place is essentially weep it's it's the weep semi brand because why not so it will be made accordingly meaning it's going to be uh, uh, what colors weep was red yes okay it's already the right color so what should this thing look like it's it's a 2012 let's make it look modern and sleek and phenomenal yay look there's a there's a grill that <laughs> this thing's gonna look weird just rip off uh, rip off some actual designs for a little bit here. Imitation is the most sincere form of flattery. I think that's how the quote goes. But I don't know if I've imitated the correct thing. <laughs> you know, I'm aiming for something that looks good, but honestly, I'll cut my losses and accept acceptable. I really don't know what I've done. <laughs> I can't really say that I'm really used to designing something that looks like this. Okay, this could be worse. That's generally what I aim for when I'm designing things. I like to get to the point where I can say it could be worse and then just work from there. That just looks weird, but I I kind I kind of like it, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> what about this whole uh light grill unit this thing? Okay, that kind of works. Okay, so uh man, okay, what's next? Turn signals. It has no indicators in the front. Let's just wedge them in there. Perfect, those are our turn signals. It's brilliant. 
This thing looks ridiculous. I really don't know about those little bubble headlights. Like, I think they're cute, but at the same time, they just don't seem right. I can't decide if that looks better or not. All right, now working our way back, we're gonna want a big mirror. Let's grab these, get make them nice and big so you can actually reach them. While I'm here, actually, actually, it's got, it's got kind of a step up. It doesn't really need anything there. It would be nice if this was black, though. So it's like a little step. Yeah, there we go. On to the back now. So when it's not towing something, it will need a third taillight. That works. And now we're gonna need really just one unit that we can fit everything in right there because we're kind of limited. It's gonna be something like this, just wider. And now, where are the mud flaps? Do those still exist right now? Because I could really use those. That being said though, I'm going to put a little hitch right there so we can tow non-trailer stuff. For the actual towing bit, in order to get that thing to work, I think I'm gonna need to use the uh, node attachments and beam. But to tow something smaller, we'll give it a little tow hitch, even if it's not really realistically fitting there. Although, just for the sake of making it not look ridiculous, I think I could grab one of these. Okay, so I'm pretty sure, besides exhaust, that's gonna be it. Now exhaust, this is gonna be a difficult one, although we do have these side exhausts that I always refuse to use. There, that'll work. Other than that, what else do we need? We could use some different rims. I mean, the ones that are on here are pretty good for the job. Maybe something like that would be kind of cool though. So I think the last thing to do then is wipers. All right, this is not gonna be a very realistic wiper layout, but I don't care. There's wipers there and they will work well enough. Okay, so I think that's everything. We got a fuel cap, we got door handles, we got headlights, taillights, turn signals, antenna, mirrors, rims, grill, tow hitch, third taillights, exhaust. I'm pretty sure that's everything. All right, so in that case, let's move on. So, all wheel drive, we'll do a dual clutch, a seven speed dual clutch, top speed of 183. We'll come back and fix that. We'll do an electric LSD, semi slicks, because we're gonna need the grip. Carbon ceramic, we'll do six pistons up front and we'll do, you know what, let's just, we'll work down from there if we need to. This thing's gonna be heavy. Downforce, I really don't know how much downforce it's gonna need, but we'll give it a little bit. We'll, we'll give it a couple hundred pounds of downforce. We'll give it a luxury interior, just because, you know, this thing would be meant for the long haul. Granted, we want the long haul to be short. So, luxury, but not handmade luxury. Electric variable power steering. We'll give this one launch control because it's the STDS. Do active comfort springs, semi-active dampers, and it corners like a semi-truck. First things first, let's widen these rims as much as possible. There we go, 0.46, my god, that is bad. I'm pretty sure with this thickness, I'm a little worried about it just snapping inside the rim right there. And I really don't want to have to deal with that right now, but it looks like that might be going to happen. The only answer to that is to shrink the front wheel and throw the offset out super wide, which also means it's gonna handle like garbo. Let's see, we can get away with a little bit more. Be up to there, how's that? Okay, so that's gonna r make it work, but we're at a .6, this thing's gonna handle so bad. Oh gosh, this thing is really gonna be the absolute worst. Zero to 60, 3.9 seconds. It's a lot of wheel spin though, perhaps a bit too much wheel spin. 50% wheel spin, I guess we're gonna have to live with that. .62 is the best we can do with handling. Unfortunately, that's how that's gonna have to be. As far as brakes go, we're gonna need some big brakes. The biggest brakes possible, the brake force is still low compared to grip. So that's terrifying. And you know what, Those I, I can understand, those brakes look tiny. Oh my gosh, okay, this thing is not gonna break well. You know, if I'm going off what the game wants here, it still wants stiffer, stiffer springs and dampers. It wants stiffer everything, my gosh. I mean, I kinda get it. Okay, so it still wants stiffer sway bars. I, I, I normally would advocate not listening to what it says because it doesn't really know what kind of build you're trying to do when it gives you suggestions, but in this case, I just want to see where it's going with this. Okay, I think it's done asking for that stuff. It just wants, it wants wider wheels, which I understand. I'm just afraid to do it because I think it's going to split the car in half. I mean, we could get it up to uh, a 0.75. The downside is it looks like this. See, that right there, that's what I'm nervous about. You see, the way that the chassis is coming out here, it's not meant for rims this big. So there's this piece of metal going right into it. And when it renders in beam, that is going to clip. And if that 
is inside it, it's just gonna snap the steering in half. Makes me a bit nervous. Oh my gosh, that's the intercooler. It's just sticking straight through the front. That's that's funny. All right, this semi truck has an exposed uh, intercooler, it would appear. So that's neat. <laughs> Anyway, so that's going to be this truck. It weighs 16,000 pounds, has 2,000 horsepower, has a suspension and a tuning setup that functions to the vaguest degree. Not a single market in the world has an interest in it. It doesn't even score a point in practicality. It almost costs a half a million dollars. Costs 82,000 to service it. And its fuel economy is that it does move with fuel. All right, uh, let's go ahead and give this thing a go. I think it was named properly because this thing is definitely diseased. <laughs> the front doesn't change color with the rest of the car. All right, well, it can be any color you want as long as it's red. Okay, even red doesn't really work. What have I done? The tires look like they're already hurting. It already feels like it's vibrating apart. The engine on its own is just vibrating the entire thing. It's not, strictly speaking, stable. Uh, I'm, I'm a little nervous about it. Holy crap, is it fast though. And the turbo isn't dying. I did a better job with the turbo today. Ironically, it's with this. Do the lights and stuff work? Oh yeah, it's bright. The good news, at least, is that it doesn't kill itself immediately, and the wheels allow it to turn. Even though they are clipping through there, it's just not registering as an object. That's good. I was apparently afraid of that for nothing. But it actually, it doesn't feel wildly uncontrolled. But then again, I haven't tried to turn it with any sort of actual, you know, precision. But I think the most important question is, can it deliver quickly? So I prepared this trailer here to put that to the test. All right, so... All right, off to a great start. There's a collision object in this. It seems that there's actually hitbox registering up to here. So it won't actually work completely properly. See, if I go like right there, there's collision right there. And it's not until it gets up to about here that I can actually get over it, at which point that's where it see that's where it's resting. So this this definitely complicates things a bit. And if you're wondering what's in here, of course, um, it's just a bunch of bolcos. So let's just pretend that um, that's not looking like that. All right, let's open her up. What's the top speed with a load? Oh, gosh, the fact that it's not on there perfectly straight is really causing problems. So is it safe? Uh, hell no. <laughs> but we can get your new EPAD 720 5,000 gigahertz Velociraptor here in, in 30 minutes or less. You can see Bolko buying a fleet of 500 of these. That's just a start. Of course, they're going to buy more than that. Well, it is working. It seems to top out at about 104. Keep in mind, though, it is carrying currently four Bolko Club signatures, which is more than you can get a discount with. It is working. That's, that's the thing. Although I do wish that it was a little more glamorous. Right at this point, I kind of just want to crash to see how ridiculous the accident is. Awesome. So if you're driving and you just decide at the last second you want to go to the Japanese restaurant, so you try and turn really fast. That's what happens. And then the trailer splices open and the bulk goes all just bleed out. <laughs> Again, I'm getting sidetracked here, but I'm curious to see how well these bolcos actually did. So let's just shear the lid right off and let's uh, let's check out these bolcos and see if any of them are actually good. Yeah, we could still sell that one. How about this one? Oh, that one, that one needs a new bumper, but otherwise we could we could sell that one as well. Yeah, that one, eh, slightly used. And this guy up here, eh, we'll put it on a clearance rack, I think. Actually, I do gotta know though, how, how do these things run? Like, will they still, that one, okay, that one actually is, probably won't run. All right, what about you? How you doing? That one runs. This one runs. This one's all messed up, but... It runs. <laughs> and this one, I don't even think there's any question about this one. This one honestly looks fine. Alright, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Every one of the Bolkos is fine. The truck, uh, probably, you know, you can't say the same for that. I am curious as to how fast we can get it to without a load, though. Or even with a lighter load or something. I mean, we could put a... Okay, this is gonna look really stupid. Oh yeah, this is this is fast. Oh my gosh, imagine being back there. That would be terrifying. I don't even think that thing has enough weight to really even affect how the semi is handling. 
I mean, that thing weighs nothing, and this thing weighs almost 20,000 pounds. It flops everywhere. It doesn't even affect how the truck is handling. <laughs> Absolutely no impact whatsoever. Come on, just bounce onto your wheels, please. It's just so much better for everyone if you're on the wheels. Okay, something went very wrong. Okay, um... There we go. Get back on the wheels. Nope, now you're totally upside down. Okay, now you've lost the wheel. Alright. Well, that went well. I'd like to begin by saying that there is no way this will work. But, um, if it does, this truck is legendary. So I solved the issue of it not, you know, slotting over the actual hitch properly by just putting it over a trailer that attaches to the little tow hitch on the back. And then, um, I've just daisy chained all of those onto each other. Uh, and yeah. There's one of them in there that's a bit of a surprise one, though. And it's filled with milk. The rest are all filled with gasoline, so uh, it's definitely gonna go poorly. Alright, let's see. Can this even move? No. <laughs> no, it can't. I have definitely overestimated this truck's capabilities here. Yeah, we've just straight up broken that. Okay, that trailer can't even hold the weight. Okay, well, I see the issue now. I see that this is the only issue. This trailer isn't strong enough. I'm just gonna do this the way we did it last time, and I'm sure nothing will go wrong. And off we go. I said, off we go. Yeah, I have no idea why this isn't working. <laughs> but mark my words, it will work. I think I've already gone too far with this. Okay, so floor it, floor it, and now front one. Front one has command. Let's go. <laughs> oh no, this is dangerous. Hold on a sec, I gotta get a replay of this for later. It's just too good. Uh-oh. Okay, I think we're already about to die here. For a moment it was so beautiful and then I tried to record it and it just fell apart so much. I gotta try that again. At this point I really don't remember which one of these has milk in it. But that was too beautiful, must recreate. Okay, floor it. Floor it. Floor it. Come on, oh, we're not going as well this time. Oh, it's starting to move, it's starting to move. Oh, it's like a symphony. Oh my gosh, 50 miles an hour. I don't know what's going on back there. I can't see anything, and I'm afraid to look around. <laughs> if I look around, I might crash. It doesn't sound good. I'm worried about the milk. Uh-oh, this is a big turn. I don't know if we have this kind of ability. Oh <laughs> no! Okay, we're going into this lane now. We only have two sets of wheels that are steering. Uh-oh. I'm amazed we haven't crashed yet. Oh, we're definitely dying here. There's no way we turn in time. No way! Uh-oh. 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 Okay, you guys can you guys can turn off now, that'd be great. Which one had the milk? Anyway, I'm gonna end this episode here, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh it's definitely been an interesting build. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and let this play out and uh, end the episode here. Anyway, hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next one.